distributed data management means like uh, consolidation of data into a centralized repository. So in our company, uh, we found out like data was scattered across multiple stream of sources and different functions was using different systems for reporting purpose. It was frequently leading to anomalies in the data and frequently data reconciliation issue. So that is why there was a, a problem statement was defined as we have to consolidate all the data into a centralized repository. So uh, Cloudera has been quite beneficial in the sense like this is the platform that we chose to create our data lake and uh, what we were looking for was the agility because in Godfrey Phillips we work on an agile methodology and Cloudera has been quite a scalable solution because it provides user the flexibility to choose the environment as per the business need. We can lower or we can uh, higher the number of nodes as per our project requirements. So as per me, there are th three important components of a BI data strategy implementation and that is people, technology and process. So all these three components complement each other and one must look into all the details of these factors to uh, have a successful BI roadmap journey. For example, people. So any project starts with people and ends with people. Now, if we have to have a top-down approach in the organization if we want our project to be successful because ultimately the business stakeholders are the ones who are using, who will be using your system. So people, you need to find out some advocates or some influencer in the business community who can help you in spreading the word of BI. So the different phases that an enterprise should follow in order to have a successful BI implementation are that firstly we need to define our KPIs and these KPIs has to be defined as per the business stakeholder needs, what they want from us. So once we define the KPIs, then we have to do the reverse engineering and find out the source systems where these KPIs reside. And once we have the requirement, then only we can start the implementation. The another important aspect is the selection of your partner. You can have a top level partner or a middle level partner. So there you have to be very careful. You can define some kind of vendor evaluation criteria and based on that, select the best partner available. At the same time, you should always keep business stakeholders in loop for every decision. This should be a partner for every decision that you take that will help you immensely in the long so term. One of the, uh, one of the critical success parameter is a user adoption. If the user are using your new system, then it is a successful. On the other hand, however, whatever ki kind of money you can invest, if your product is not being used, then it is of no use to the organization. So first and foremost, user adoption is the key. And this has to be implemented by following a robust change management strategy in your organization. You have to train the users, you have to find some advocates within the stakeholders, and you have to ensure that all your users' concerns, if any, are addressed in a proper manner. So at Godfrey, our vision was to create a single source of truth where all kind of reporting could happen. So the problem that we were facing is was we were using, everybody was using disparate kind of source systems, which was resulting into a lot of uh, reporting reconciliation issues. So we created a single source of truth using Cloudera. And now we have uh, all the stakeholders using the same source of reporting and everybody is in the, on the same page. There's no confusion. Plus, now we have an analytics platform where we can implement machine learning capability for the growth of the organization. So one of the foremost uh, criteria of selection of Cloudera was the agility that it provides us. Because as I informed earlier, we are an agile company and we were looking for a partner who could provide us the same kind of agility that the business asked from us. So the Cloudera has been a very scalable and agile platform and we are able to uh, lower up the uh, lower up the environment or scale down the environment as per the project requirements. So the journey with KPMG has been good so far, but at the same time we have to be very careful when we are working with vendors or partners because at every time at every stage of the project we need to define a toll gate. So we need to review the project at each and every stage. We need to have a proper project review or a steercom every month or fortnightly basis so that the project does not go out of the way. 
so in in our case we have been managing the resources quite effectively and we have done proper design review so we have not let them uh, take the decision on their own but everything has been scrutinized by gpi folks for more updates from cxo tv please like and subscribe to our channel